Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called The Professor and the Madman. This is a 2019 film. It does run two hours. And it stars Mel Gibson, Sean Penn, and Eddie Marson. The description is Professor James Murray begins work, compiling words for the first edition of the Oxford English Dictionary in the mid-19th century and receives over 10,000 entries from a patient at Broadmoor Criminal Lunatic Asylum, Dr. William Minor. This is The Professor and the Madman. Well, hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. This is my 602nd video review of a movie on YouTube. And uh, I am very happy to have reached the goals that I've kind of shot for. And we're going past 600 here. So let's talk about a great movie. Wow. This one came out of nowhere for me. Um, I do research at the beginning of every month of similar movies that I've watched from the movies I watched last month. And this one just kind of came up as research of a similar movie that I watched and uh, it's crazy you know it's not supposed to be on theaters or anything and um, not that I know of and this was last year I don't think anybody's seen it I haven't heard any rumblings about this I didn't know anything about it going in I just knew it had two of the best actors of our time and wow they get to show off their skill in this one this movie when I was watching it I can just see this being one of the major roles that Sean Penn or Bruce Willis could play at, like, you know, their commemorative little role of what roles they played in their life. I can just see this being on the total radar for something like that, like something they play at the Academy Awards when they give one of these guys a Lifetime Achievement Award. This could be one of their major achievements. This movie is just an acting clinic. Uh, the, these two guys play off of each other so well, and this story is so unique that these guys just knock it out of the park with aggression and sadness and madness and you know just even acting appropriately with decorum you know i mean it's just fantastic so all i really have is praise for this movie uh i can talk you know for a minute or five minutes you know but um i'll kind of explain things because I, like i said i don't think anybody's really watched this movie so what happens is Sean Penn, he kind of gets everything rolling with how he kind of goes crazy. He's the madman in this equation. And when he does what he does, I won't give that away, then everything kind of goes crazy from there. And, you know, we have the other storyline of the dictionary being worked on. But really what this movie is completely about is what Sean Penn is going through as a man. Um, he used to be in the military. He goes to this area. That, uh, I think we're in Oxford. is in England. And he goes to there to just kind of exist and has this thing happen. And then the rest of the movie he's being treated and he's going through all this personal stuff that when things are going well he's happy and he's helping with the dictionary when things aren't going well he's being treated and he falls into a black hole and it's just a, it's a roller coaster of emotions and you get to go along with the ride you get to experience what is happening and the dictionary is kind of the side story that's like you know what the movie's about and it was amazing what they achieved. And, you know, at the end of the movie, it kind of plays a little scroll for you on the screen that it says that it took, you know, so long for anything to be done on this dictionary. 
and it really was kind of the first attempt that actually mattered and so all that stuff's cool but i know it's kind of what the movie's about but honestly this movie is about sean penn and his character and what he goes through and how crazy all of that is um on the dictionary side of things i didn't really care too much for the whole people trying to stop things from happening or stopping people from working on the dictionary you know what have you i thought that was a little silly and like there have been movies like um the aeronauts i watched that recently and people think these people are crazy for going in a hot balloon you know like what's that ever going to achieve it's a big waste of money especially in the time in that time period and they object but then the two people go take the hot balloon ride and get the weather readings and their heroes like this movie mm-hmm. you know okay it's crazy that we're going to work on a dictionary you know we're never going to get it done you know not in a million years and that's fine to object at the beginning of the movie but then to keep bringing that up you know to find different ways to stop people and stunt the progress and i didn't get the point of that i, I didn't like those characters but uh you know, it's like object and then step aside, you know, let the story happen. But, uh, so them butting their heads in wasn't all that great. And then, um, otherwise, like I said, I think this movie just kind of knocks the, the acting out of the park. Um, the people that are affected by Sean Penn's situation, they just have so much going on, you know, trying to forgive, trying to, uh, understand trying to go through what he's going through and experiencing it themselves a little bit um, we talk you know we raise up questions you know aren't we all just a little bit mad um, you know there's lots of quotes being thrown out there it's very artistic very historical very poetic so there's a lot of great things about this movie that I think people just need to eventually expose themselves to I think it's one of the best acting jobs I've seen in a long time. I was just amazed every second of this movie how people were doing things and how people were interacting with each other. It's just amazing. So um, I know I'm going to be a little bit of a shocker here, but I don't think I want to rewatch this movie only because it's about a dictionary and because of the content it has in it and the... A couple things I just can't express to you on a video is that it's not a movie to rewatch and rewatch. It's a movie to expose yourself to and get educated and learn something and then say you've seen it. And that's truly how I feel. I feel like I could watch it maybe two more times in my lifetime, but that's no reason really to own it. So the movies that I give an A to, I set that aside for... Um, movies that I would love to own, I would love to rewatch, and this just isn't one of those movies, but it is fantastic, and you've got to see it just to expose yourself to it and educate yourself, and I think some people will be blown away by this enough to want to rewatch it, to want to own it, but I'm just not one of those people, so I'm going to give this the highest grade I can to have you understand how good of a movie this is, and try and influence you to watch it so that'll be a b plus um i totally recommend trying to give this movie a chance if you can find it if you can seek it out um two outstanding male lead actors along with an outstanding cast um the head bodyguard for sean he's a good actor too he's been in a lot of stuff so just an outstanding cast outstanding story outstanding acting Try and expose yourself to the professor and the madman, which I give a B plus to. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.